Hey guys, in this video we are going to be making a crochet lettuce. So I am using a size 4 medium yarn and a size 5 millimeter hook. I'm going to start out with a magic ring. And if you need to see how to do this or anything else a little closer, I will link the videos for that in the description below. So I'm going to start off by making a chain 1. And then I am going to single crochet 9 times around my magic ring. When you make it all the way around, you will just pull the hole closed by pulling on the tail and slip stitch into the top of the first single crochet. So for this round, we are again going to chain one and single crochet two times into every stitch all the way around. When you again make it all the way around, you will slip stitch into the top of the first single crochet again and chain one. Then we will single crochet one time in the first stitch and two times in the second and repeat that all the way around by single crocheting one time in the next and two in the next after that. When you again get back around you will of course slip stitch into the top of the first single crochet and you may notice that it's trying to do a weird thing by waving but that is okay. So for this round and the next, we are going to chain one and single crochet one time each stitch all the way around for this row and the next. So now we have some bowing going on, which should make your wave even out a little bit. So for this round, we are going to chain one, single crochet one time into the first two stitches and single crochet two times into the next. And repeat that all the way around, single crocheting one time in the next two stitches and two times in the next after that. Okay, and so again for the next three rounds this time we are going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. For this in the next two rows after this for a total of three rows of one single crochet in each stitch. When you are done with those three rows, we will now start decreasing exactly how we increased. So we will do one single crochet in the next two stitches and then bring the next two single crochets together and repeat that all the way around. One single crochet in the next two stitches we're going to bring the next two single crochets together. For the next two rows, we will do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So we are almost done with the ball part of our lettuce now. For this next row, we are going to chain one, single crochet one time into the first stitch, and bring the next two single crochets together. And repeat that all the way around, single crocheting in the next, and bringing the next two single crochets together. So our hole is about this big now, but I'm going to make it one round smaller before I stuff it. So for this next round, we are just going to be bringing two single crochets together all the way around this row. At this point, I am going to go ahead and stuff this ball and then we will do the last round. Once you have your ball stuffed, we will go ahead and do the last round, which is just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So we, as always, are left with this last little hole here. So we will chain one more to make a knot and cut our string, which I have already done, and pull it all the way through. So then you can get a yarning needle and go ahead and go through every stitch all the way around from the outside to the inside. Okay, when you get all the way around, I like to make one less little loop, make a knot, pull it all tight, and then stab the needle through the ball pull that string through and cut it off. So there is the ball portion of our lettuce. 
and now we're going to make the leaves. For the leaves, we are going to do about half of the circle that we just made and then finish it off a little differently. So here I started off with my magic ring and put nine single crochets into it. Then I am going to chain one and put two single crochets into each stitch all the way around. Okay, we are going to go through this fairly quickly since we have done this once together already but you will slip stitch into the top of the first single crochet again and for the next round chain one then single crochet one time in the first stitch and two times into the second and repeat that all the way around when we are done with that we are again going to chain one and now for the next two rounds we are going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around for the next two rows when we are done with those two rows, for the next row we are going to expand one more time. So we are going to do one single crochet in the first two stitches and then two single crochets in the next stitch and repeat that all the way around. When we are done with that row, this is now the last row that we will be following the original ball pattern for. So we are just going to do one row of one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and then we will finish off the leaf. For the last row of our leaf, we are going to chain one, of course, and single crochet one time in the next 22 stitches. When you have done those 22 stitches, you should have 14 stitches left, and we are going to put three single crochets in each stitch until we get back to the beginning, which is the next 14 stitches. So just squeeze three single crochets in each stitch. Okay, when you make it all the way back around, we are just going to slip stitch into the top of the first single crochet like we have been and pull that tight. Then we will chain one more, cut the string off, leaving a long tail and pull that all the way through. And that is our leaf. So now you can just make the ruffles look a little more uniform. Just like that. And we are going to want to make two more of these so that we have three all together. When you have all three leaves made, I just have mine set up to my ball right now, all lined up with the bottom circle so that they all have one side that is underneath and one side that is on top of the other, just like that. So I'm going to get this lined up again and then I'm just going to choose one to start with and start sewing along one of the edges keeping the other one that is underneath it there and sewing them both in at the same time and go around all of them in the same manner. So I'm going to start with these two here, still have them lined up. I took the third one off so I don't have to worry about holding that on at the same time. I have my needle threaded already and I am going to just go right through both of the leaves and poke back through. and pull that tight and then come back through a stitch in the top leaf and go down through both of them again. It doesn't necessarily matter exactly where you come back up as long as it's in a place that you can still get the top leaf at the same time. So I am going to continue doing this until I get to the other side where I need to connect the other leaf. I am now to where I need to connect my next leaf. Because I started with this leaf on top, I am going to put it underneath the next leaf and then I am just going to go up and sew it in along the outside of this leaf now. Making sure to get both connected to the ball itself.
Once you get up to the top of the leaf where we started and ended our rounds for this leaf, I'm just going to go around and make one more stitch here to connect it right there. And then we will tie a knot and finish this off for this string. Now that we are not going to need this string on this leaf here, I'm just going to do the same thing that we just did and bring that string through the ball and then cut it off so that it's just a little bit more secure. It's just an easy way of weaving in the ends. And then I am going to go back with this string here. And again, because this one is on top, I am going to put it underneath this one. And go down and sew in the last side that needs to be sewn in with this string. And there you have it, a crochet lettuce. I hope that that was helpful for all of you and enjoyable. I hope you go on to make many more things, and I will see you guys in my next video.